Lloyd's known throughout the world and throughout Australia as the first Indigenous man to play for the Wallabies. But, but on par with that, or even better than that, he was the first Indigenous man to be admitted to the bar as a barrister. So if that's any indication of what Lloyd McDermott stands for, then that's exactly it. That's, we want our children to be barristers. We want our young people to be teachers and, and be upstanding community members. And rugby is just our tool to do that. There's a whisper in the morning light Saying get up and meet the day The whole aim of the, the, the tour and that was really to allow our kids uh, to, to come up against a quality opponents here and really move towards the ability to uh, have them play in the Australian School Board Championships. In having tough games under their belts, it's only going to make us more prominent and make us a bit more positive um, in that environment. There's no better uh, way to prepare uh, than to play some games, um, but to also have the opportunity to uh, to tour uh, New Zealand at the time of the 2011 World Cup, and uh, almost these days it's considered the home of rugby. So to get across here uh, to play under their conditions um, and and their style of play, it's quite physical. But you've got to believe you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, then who does? John Morrissey, I'm the president of the Wainui Amata Rugby Club, which has been around for about 65 years in the valley of Wainui Amata, which is completely isolated from most of the rest of Hutt Valley and Wellington. We've had uh, quite a few people here at the moment, South Africans, French, a couple of Japanese, the indigenous side from Australia, who yeah. are a credit to have here, they're very good boys. The volunteers we have got are amazing. Our ladies in the kitchen, they're just doing a great job with all these visitors. and settle just like coming in and going like this. If you use your knees, come up blocks and four and goes. They're giving you, pushing you too much, you've got to come on these off the gun. I'll pass the ball to you, you deliver it to him, to him. Alright? So I'll pop it a little bit. Just with the line out, it, it, it's not about how powerful you are, it's just how quick, we, quick you do it. So that basic line out you guys went through, it's pretty sweet. Like with the lifting, it's just quick. Holding up there, get the ball down and get out. Mount Druitt, the local area, Western Sydney, and it was pretty tough. You know, I got, I was in, got into trouble a lot, and um, you know, I was going down the wrong path. If you know you've got that support from those around you, you know, those close to you, then you know you can get through those times. Rugby's given me so many things, like mates I've made here, like here all, you know, I'm still mates with guys that I, when I first started playing. The reason why you do become good mates is because of the, you know, the challenges and the obstacles you go through together. Boys, it's just, it's just about standing up for yourself, working hard. It's you believing in yourself and, and taking ownership of it and you know, no one else is going to do the hard work for you, you've got to do it. So on behalf of all the boys here, I'd like to say thank you very much for coming out and helping us out a lot. It's called Wawitima Dua. It's a more contemporary version of an older chant. It's more of an um, acknowledgement of who we are. We wouldn't refer to it usually as a war dance or a war chant. It's actually the, the, the name meaning Wawitima means strong and proud warrior.
pretty cool. Mm. Very, uh, first time I've ever seen that, so it's pretty amazing. Well, good luck today, right? Wait, wait, wait.